In this video I'm going to show you how to download and install the Tombow ID framework and get it running as a, a little local um, environment on your machine so you can develop your own knowledge bases. First thing you need to do is go to the GitHub repository for uh, the software which is shown by this address here. You can type that straight into your address bar or you can follow a relevant link e.g. from the uh, Tombow framework ID page on the website. Look for this little green label here which marks the latest release and whatever that latest release is download the source code zip file i'm using chrome so it's coming on the bar down here it's about eight meg so with a good internet connection it just takes a few seconds i'm going to extract that and put it somewhere convenient on my computer and i like to put it on the desktop where i can find it nice and easily Okay, that's extracted. I'll get rid of that. Minimize my browser. On the desktop now, I should be able to find the folder. There it is there. I'm going to put it somewhere where I can find it. And if I open that, you'll see all the um, software for the framework in there. So the remaining step is to start a little piece of software that will use that folder as a little, little website effectively. And the method I'm recommending you uh, use for that is to use Google Chrome as your browser and download a little extension for it called the web server. Your users don't need to use Chrome, they can use any modern browser, but I recommend Chrome as a developer of a knowledge base so that you can use this little add-in. And if I search for Chrome extensions, look at this Chrome web store here, and in the search bar up there I'm going to just type in web server click enter and if I scroll down you see under apps I've got this web server for Chrome and I'm going to say add to Chrome add the app and now I've got this um, web server up here so to start it I simply click on this but you need to do that each time you run the website so I'm going to show you how to find that if you've got this little button you can just click on that and your apps will come up but if you can't find that, one way you can do it is just to type into the address bar up here, Chrome colon slash slash apps, and that will bring this page up. And then you can simply start the web server by clicking on that. And it wants to know what folder to treat as your website. So we want to select the Tom Bio folder we just uh, created from the download. So I'm going to say choose folder, go and find that on my desktop. It's there. Tom Bio is okay that so now it's, that's now selected there I need to make sure that this little button here is over on the right so the web server is started and now my folder is ready my website is ready to go as it were if I quit this window now the web server stops so I mustn't do that I use the minimize icon there so you can see it's down here on my taskbar so it's still running and to start the actual Tombio website now I simply type in this address into the toolbar the address bar, sorry, 127.0.0.1 colon 8887/viz.html, and I can bookmark that, and that starts the framework. So here's the framework running on my local computer. It has everything that I need in the framework to start developing my own knowledge base. This is looking at the sample biscuits knowledge base that comes with the framework. And in the next few videos, I will show you how to take that as a template and start creating your own knowledge base.